most esteemed shareholders, our respected chairman, my honorable seniors and friends, aap sabko mera pranam, Jai Shri Krishna. My dear friends, it is my proud privilege to present our performance and plans of our energy and materials business. Our exploration and production business is a cornerstone of India's energy security. It contributes nearly 30% of the nation's natural gas output. As you know, natural gas is vital to India's clean and green energy transition. In the financial year 25, exploration and production delivered a record EBITDA of 21,188 crore. This was driven by higher output from both Krishna Godavari Basin and Coal Bed Methane. KG D6 production rose 4% to 28 million metric standard cubic meters per day of gas and 21,000 barrels of oil per day. We plan to add more new wells in the next fiscal. In the KG Basin, we are advancing infrastructure-led exploration with fresh drilling scheduled for 2026. CBM output increased by 30% to 0.8 mm SCMD. This was powered by India's first 40-well multilateral drilling campaign. A second campaign is already underway. We are embracing deep tech in every part of ENP. Our digital operations control center, engineering twins, and process twins set new benchmarks in safety, reliability, and operational excellence. Dear shareholders, I am pleased to present the performance of our oil to chemicals business. This is not merely a legacy business. It is the backbone of Reliance's transformation into an integrated energy company, positioned for the next decade of global energy evolution. The past year brought extraordinary complexity in global energy markets. Supply chain disruptions, trade shifts, and petrochemical overcapacity posed major challenges. In this dynamic environment, Reliance delivered industry-leading performance. This demonstrates the resilience of our integrated model. Our success rests on advantages unique to us. Operational excellence, feedstock flexibility, supply chain agility, deep market reach, technology-driven innovation. Our operational excellence is evident in 100% capacity utilization, far higher than the global average of 80%. This directly translates into superior capital returns and it validates the strength of our model. Dear friends, our refineries processed a record 72.2 million tons of crude in the year 25. Our Petco gasification complex also delivered record output. Our diversified crude basket of over 250 grades gives unmatched flexibility. It allows us to adapt rapidly to market volatility and optimize processing margin. These achievements powered 11% revenue growth to 6,26,921 crore, an EBITDA of 54,988 crore. These strong margins prove our ability to deliver returns even under the most volatile environment. Dear friends, our net carbon zero commitment by 2035 is not just a business pledge. It is our commitment to protect Mother Earth from the climate crisis. Our SEZ refinery has been recognized as the world's most energy efficient facility. Across facilities, we are shifting to clean fuels. Our efficiency programs have delivered 10 million gigajoules of energy savings in three years. Our circular economy initiatives Waste plastic pyrolysis, biomass fuels, hydrogen make Reliance a leader in sustainable materials. This is a strong competitive advantage as sustainability drives value creation. Friends, 
hydrocarbons will remain vital for India for several years. Our strategy is clear. Excel in traditional energy while building the system of the future. We are developing an integrated portfolio spanning conventional fuels, biofuels, green hydrogen, and clean solutions. Our three pillar strategy is firm. Deepen feedstock integration, convert commodities into specialty chemicals, and accelerate green chemistry leadership. Our capital allocation is disciplined, with growth aimed at superior returns. We are investing 75,000 crore in new projects as follows. In Nagothane, Maharashtra, 1.2 million ton PVC plant. In the Hij, Gujarat, an expanded CPVC and 3 million ton PTA facility. In Palgar, Maharashtra, a 1 million ton specialty polyester facility. These projects are positioned to meet India's rising demand. Our Hazira carbon fiber facility will be among the world's largest. It will serve the aerospace, defense, and advanced materials industries. Friends, our oil to chemical strategy anticipated today's dynamics. With the convergence of energy and materials, the premiumization of petrochemicals, and integrated feedstock optimization, we have created a resilient, future ready platform for sustained value creation. We consistently outperform global peers across cycles. This proves the strength of our execution and positioning. Our integrated platform technology leadership and strategic partnerships uniquely position Reliance. We are committed to delivering superior shareholder returns through every energy cycle. Dear friends, let me also update you on the progress of GeoBP. Over the past year, GeoBP has strengthened its position as one of India's fastest growing fuel and mobility players. We have expanded our retail network to serve customers across key highways, urban hubs, and growth corridors. We have introduced differentiated fuels with active technology, delivering better mileage and engine performance. Our EV charging and swapping infrastructure has grown rapidly, making GeoBP a trusted partner in India's pivot to electric mobility. We are working closely with fleet operators, last mile delivery companies, and urban transport systems to offer integrated energy solutions. We will continue to expand our network, scale our EV infrastructure, and introduce new green fuels, including biofuels and hydrogen. GeoBP will play a vital role in powering India's mobility needs while driving the transition to a cleaner, more sustainable future. My dear shareholders, let me now turn to the most ambitious and transformational mission of Reliance in this decade, our new energy business. When our chairman unveiled this vision last year, he spoke about three convictions. First, that India must lead the new energy revolution. Second, that India must achieve true energy self-reliance. And third, that India must emerge as a global leader in new energy. I am happy to share with you in the past 12 months, this vision has moved from ambition to execution. We are making a tangible and rapid progress. We are building the world's most integrated new energy ecosystem from sand to electrons to green molecules at a scale unmatched anywhere in the world. Our AI-driven smart giga factories are designed to be future-proof, keeping reliance ahead in technology, ahead in cost efficiency, and ahead in reliability. Products from the Giga factories would be deployed for delivering round-the-clock renewable power and producing green chemicals, including green ammonia, e-methanol, and sustainable aviation fuel. With immense pride, I can say that Reliance will be the world's only fully integrated, self-sufficient company in new energy. Dear shareholders at Jamnagar, Work on the Dhirubhai Ambani Giga Energy Complex is progressing at a record pace. Here is the first glimpse of the construction on this site. It will be unmatched globally in size, scale, and integration. 5 million man-hours of engineering, 44 million square feet of building area, 
equivalent to four times the size of the Tesla Gigafactory, 3.4 million cubic meters of concrete, 7 lakh tons of steel equal to 100 Eiffel Towers, 1 lakh kilometers of cable enough to reach the moon and back, over 50,000 workers at peak supported by extensive construction automation. We have partnered with the world's leading engineering and construction companies to achieve best-in-class quality, cost and schedule. Jamnagar will be the cradle of both the world's largest conventional energy complex and the world's largest new energy complex. Jamnagar is the face of New Reliance and New India. My dear friends, our solar PV manufacturing platform is already operational. It is demonstrating industry-leading performance. We have successfully produced our first 200 megawatt of HJT modules. These deliver 10% higher energy yield, 20% better temperature performance, and 25% lower degradation. We are scaling rapidly in the coming quarters. We will expand to 10 gigawatt power per annum of fully integrated annual solar PV manufacturing capacity. Then we will scale further to 20 gigawatt power capacity. This will be the largest solar manufacturing facility and the most integrated single site solar complex globally. In parallel, we are rapidly constructing our battery and electrolyzer gigafactories. Our battery gigafactory will start in 2026. It will begin with 40 gigawatt hours per year and expand modularly to 100 gigawatt hours per year. Our electrolyzer gigafactory will also be operational by end 2026 with the ability to scale up to 3 gigawatt per year. It will enable cost competitive green hydrogen production at a global scale backed by exclusive global technology partnerships and strengthened by our in-house capabilities. Together, these platforms will create a multi-pronged gigawatt-scale clean energy ecosystem. Solar, battery storage, hydrogen, all under one roof. This integrated approach delivers scale. It also builds a sustainable competitive moat in cost, in technology, and in supply chain resilience, positioning reliance to capture significant value as the global energy transition accelerates. My dear shareholders, in Kutch, Gujarat, we are developing one of the world's largest single-site solar projects spanning 550,000 acres of arid land, three times the size of Singapore. At peak, we will deploy 55 megawatt of solar modules every day and 150 megawatt hour of battery containers every day. This will be among the fastest installations globally. This single site could meet nearly 10% of India's electricity needs within the next decade. Our marine and land infrastructure at Jamnagar and Kandla will connect seamlessly with solar and hydrogen at Kutch. We will produce and export green ammonia, green methanol, and sustainable aviation fuel. This will make India a global hub for cost-competitive green hydrogen and its derivatives. While our initial focus will be to meet Reliance's own large captive demand, we plan to scale up to 3 million metric tons per annum of green hydrogen by 2032. This will unlock a powerful growth engine for global markets. My dear shareholders, let me now share the progress of one of our new energy initiatives. Reliance entered the bioenergy business with a clear mission to help India achieve energy independence and empower millions of farmers. Hamare Anadata Ab Banege Urjadata. This year, we are building 55 CBG plants with an annual capacity of 0.5 million tons. Our target is to scale up to 500 plus CBG plants by 2027. At Jamnagar, we have set up the world's largest bioenergy technology and R&D center. Here, we are developing advanced enzymes and high yield energy crops. We are also realizing our chairman's vision of growing energy plantations on wastelands. This includes building the world's first integrated 
energy hub combining smart farms, modular CPG and green hydrogen plants, agrivoltics and batteries. I am specially proud of our agrivoltics business where compressed biogas, CPG and solar PV are deployed on the same land. By capturing biogenic CO2 from CPG plants, these hubs will become platforms for green chemicals aiming at fossil parity. This module creates triple value for Indian farmers, green gas, green electricity, and higher rural incomes. It will be a powerful growth engine for India's clean energy future. Hum hamare adarniya chairman ke sabhi sapno ko saakar karenge. Thank you. Let me now invite our chairman once again, Jai Shri Krishna.